What's up guys, so today I'm here with Joe and we're just doing a push day, so we're gonna go pretty heavy, do bench, shoulder press, some back stuff, triceps, and yeah, we're just doing kind of a follow along workout and we'll just jump straight into it. Yep. All right, so warm up our shoulders first. I wanna try to max today, so I go really light on the warm up. Like I wanna get blood moving and everything, but I don't want to wear my muscles out at all. So I'll just do this, kind of lateral. I like to do a little bit of back, so I'll probably do some pull-ups. But uh, as soon as I start feeling my muscles kind of burning from warming up, I stop. So you don't want to overdo that. Or that'll kind of cut in your strength when you try to max. Yeah. You need a spot? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like you know, once I hit like small breath, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I hate to get stuck in that. <laughs> This will be an interesting video because we both like to lift heavy and we probably have yeah. fairly different techniques. So, yeah. you'll kind of see it. bodybuilder technique and I've got a more of a powerlifting technique, so. Yeah, he yeah. probably knows more about powerlifting than me. But uh, yeah, you'll see kind of both versions. Uh, what do you want to go up to now? 10, any side, or do you want to 10? go to 25? I'm going to go to 25. Okay. Because I'm going to try to max and then go down to my like, working sets more. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll go on 25. Cool. Oh. This is single. <laughs> Here, I'll do, or you want to do this? Yeah. Boom. All right, maybe All right. we should put on some clips. What? Maybe we should put on some clips. You use clips? Safe sets. Safe sets. This is the safe set man, apparently. <laughs> Using clips out here. You got it. I mean, like, what if the place fall? That's never happened. You just wobbling out here? What? You say you just wobbling out here, just dropping no, weights? I, I have arms that are different lengths, so, like, you know, <laughs> sometimes they go up at different how far, lengths. How far in different lengths are they? Look at that. That's like know, an inch, inch and a half maybe. Huh? That's like an inch, inch and a half. Yeah, but. All right, maybe you need clips. We'll use every clips. Every matters, right? So. All right, I'm gonna hit 315 <laughs> real quick. So I'd be curious, your opinion versus mine on this. How often do you max? Not at all. You don't max at all? Not anymore. When I used to power lift, at least like once a month. Okay. But now that I'm not, I'm not that strong, so my maxes wouldn't be <laughs> nearly as great. So. Since you cut? Yeah, since I cut, like, after a 20, 20 pound drop, it's just like hard to lift the same amount of weight, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God damn, that was hard. I don't think you were trying to. Whatever you bench with a mask on, you can technically bench 20 more pounds in that, because that's how much mask takes away. So that's a, that's a theory for today. Really, if I hit this, I'm getting 405. Yeah, yeah, basically. It's basically, basically 405. 405. All right, I'm weak today. Alright, so clearly I failed. It was the mask's fault. Um, so what yeah, are we doing now? Yeah, the mask definitely took out the 25 <laughs> plus pounds. Alright, I'm taking a break. What do you What do you want to do for your next set? Uh, I'll just do reps for 225. Do you need clips for 225? Yeah. Okay. Safe sets, you know? Safe sets, man. What about safe sex, though? Do we believe in safe sex or just uh, sets? Depends. Okay.
Those are a little sloppy. Those are a little sloppy. So pretty good, you know. Maybe we got ten. Good job. Spot. Thanks, bro. Last set for you. We'll do one more set last after this set, two. Two twenty-five. Thought I was gonna have to spot you for a second. Nope, my hands just slipped. Solid work. Solid work. Yeah. Uh, you leave 225. Oh, just okay. take the clips off though, because you know. Yeah. I'm I don't safe. like I'm safe, safe sets. I got it. Yeah, it's just more fun this way. Yeah. I'm gonna do this for reps. How many reps do you think I'm gonna get? 15? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to beat that by one. You got it. Let's get it. That's kind of the job of like a good workout partner is to tell you how many I think you can do, and it should always be a little less than what you can actually do. That way, if you're competitive, you yeah. gotta beat it. Yeah, for sure. I usually beat it by at least one. Ugh. Some people just, you know, they're like, do you think I can do 15 reps with this? And they're always just like, yeah, of course. And I have no motivation. Because I barely want to work out how it is. <laughs> All right. I hope you were. <laughs> Pretty sure it was 20, but my hips started cramping. Nice job. And I might have lost count, but I think it was 19 or 20. I think it was 20. So Carson and everyone else, Everyone says you're doing it the right way, like the depth you go to. I go down until it touches my shoulder, and it doesn't seem to bother my shoulders, but everyone tells me I'm wrong, so I don't know. Yeah. I thought it would be easier to do that depth, but then I tried it, and I honestly go got like the same amount of reps. I touched the dumbbells on my shoulders, so I go all the way down. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone uh, says it's bad for your shoulders. <laughs> for me, it works right here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing and it the way that people like stay too. Something I've messed up in the past, and I'm not trying to mess up again. So I'm pretty cautious with like. You only need one rotator cuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, stop practicing safe sets. <laughs> you know. This is where it goes wrong, man. <laughs> Never ever do safe sets. All right. Yeah, um, might work for you, but nah. Don't not use a everyone. spotter. Don't you use flip. Miles may vary. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You want to go next? Yep, I think I'm ready to go. Jump straight to 80. I'm gonna jump straight to 100. Oh god. Just gosh. kidding, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'll jump to 80. Hey, right, let's get it. I swear the hardest thing about this is just getting the stupid dumbbells up. Yeah, I know, right? Every time I try to go heavy, I like miss it, I'm trying to put it up half time. Then you end up looking real dumb. You look like that guy. He was like, yeah, that doing guy. Too much weight. <laughs> Ego lifting. Yeah. I'm like, I swear, once I get it up, it'll be I, worth it. It's good. I, yeah, I know. Once That's what I say to, say to all the girls that come over, too. Exactly. <laughs> Blueshoe.com. <laughs> Not a sponsor. All right. Okay. Come on. It's a good first set, I think. Primarily for me, like I used to do a lot of shoulder just for like improving my bench and like, you know, improving like the strength and like that pushing capacity basically. Uh, but I know it was different for you because you did sports and like, you know, football. Yeah. My whole like shoulder and back workout was weird because I played linebacker, I planned on playing linebacker. Uh -huh. And then the heaviest I could get to was 217. Yeah, 217. For overhead press? Body weight. 
Oh, wow. And so, like, at 6'1", 217, I knew it was, like, they're going to play linebacker in college, like, outside but linebacker. But not in the I felt NFL. like I wasn't going to go past college. So, gotcha. I also played receiver, and I was like, all right. Like yeah, well, I didn't like, play any sports. <laughs> I just stopped working out till college. So, but know? this is what happened, though. Like, I had a big back. Like, I worked out back a lot, uh -huh. and I got up to that weight. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to play receiver. I need to get faster and lose my lats. So, I didn't do any back workouts for, like, three years. But I did a lot of shoulders. So I tried to like lose my back. That's crazy. <laughs> Feel my shoulders. Yeah. And it took a it took a long time for I kind of balance myself back out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, makes sense. No, I I, I have a, I've developed a pretty strong back too because like I wanted to improve my deadlifts and like deadlifts sort of like became like the deadlifts. lift that I've been like the strongest at. So what's your max on deadlifts? Six fifteen. That's Good the Lord. most I've ever pulled. Uh, but I think I got like more more in me. Uh, yeah. It's just like. I have to like specifically train for like power lifting in order to like you know get yeah. those bigger numbers. I think I can pull like 585 on a good day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could not pull a 585 on a good day. Yeah. We're all gifted in different so you got me, regards. You got me there. Yeah. <laughs> I need to work on deadlifts. Yeah. So oh yeah, I, I I thought you said you didn't like you used to not do deadlifts anymore because like. It was yeah, I don't bad. have self control. Yeah. 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 Back to non-safe sets. I, I go too heavy too fast. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't clip it. I'm just out of yeah. control. Yeah, I bet. So, I, uh, I try to stay away from that. It's my downfall. But, you know, I'm like 28. Just try to lift and sit a little bit smarter. Yeah, I mean, I've had to do the same too because, like, you know, I used to go all out, try and PR like every week, but I soon realized that's like a very deadly path because, like, you can injure yourself very, very quickly. Yeah. Especially when you're trying to, like, push go all out and like push yourself to the max like yeah. i've injured myself multiple times doing that so yeah. I'm, I'm pretty careful these days with that yeah. kind of stuff well we can all learn something from you joe safe sets yep don't max too much yeah all right you ready for your set oh yeah i did my you set. try the hundreds 120s hell no <laughs> i might try the 80s it's like a life goal right there 120s and shoulder press i'd be so happy Just finally read your shirt. <laughs> deadlifts, or dumbbells, deadlifts, and donuts. Whew. That's kind of where it's up. Might be a little too heavy for me. How many you get? I can count. Like seven. Do you count all of your sets? How often do you count your reps? All the time. Really? Yeah. Like almost every set? Every time. Hmm. Yeah. Are you super OCD? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> I am kind too, of. but. <laughs> but like, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget to breathe. Sometimes I forget, you know, it happens. <laughs> You always want to remember right to in breathe. The, in the zone. <laughs> I, uh, I don't count my sets that often anymore. It depends on like if I'm lifting heavy, like if I'm so benching. So you just like go by feel? Yeah, I'll go for like a range. Like I'll pick a weight, like if I know I want to do about eight reps, I'll pick a weight I can do, do about eight, uh -huh. and I go by feel. So like I'm always close to whatever my goal was, but then it's probably two reps, I'd say. But half the time I forget to count. All right, you ready for yours? Yeah, boy. Oh, All right, hard. what am I lifting? Give me a number. I'm not doing 80s. All right, let's do some 90s for 10 reps, eight reps. I mean, I don't know what you look. How strong you think I am, bro? <laughs> Pretty strong, apparently. All right, no, I'm not doing that. You're throwing, a, <laughs> you're throwing around like 80s for like shoulder press. I'll Fairly do, strong, I think. I'll do 90s, but I don't know how many reps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, was, I, feel, I felt like it was like a little too, like. Yeah, I used to this thing up tall, bro. Um, Oh, that's another thing. I put it further back because mm -hmm. I think it puts your shoulder socket at a better angle. Okay, because I was like feeling a little odd when I had like yeah. completely straight up. A lot of people have it pretty straight. But the thing is like, I mainly do this for bench and the biggest reason this helps your bench is you're hitting front delt really hard. If you're going straight up, you're hitting more mid delt, okay. which isn't gonna have as big of an impact on bench. Weaning it back, you do target more front delt, which is gonna help you more in your bench, so. Gotcha. That's why I leave it back more too. Uh, 90s. Yeah, we might want to put up some of these weights. Oh boy. Or we can just roll You're them good. out of the way. We'll just take all the dumbbells in the gym. Well, no one's touching the 80s and 90s, so it's all good. You come this early in the day, you can take the big weights easily. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Let's get it.
Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Was that six? I wasn't counting. He's not counting my set. He counts his sets. 135s or like 155s or something. Okay. Do you do overhead press like, you mean barbell? Yeah, just using the barbell. Do you guys standing? Yeah. Yeah, like the military press. Yeah. Um, yeah, those I can go relatively heavy on. Like I go all the way up to like uh, 155, 165 sometimes. Okay. Yeah, but on these I don't nearly do them as much, so I'm not I'm not very good at that movement. Yeah. Yeah. So I gotta keep it light. Nothing wrong with that. Um, gotta go for hundreds. Probably won't even get it up, but we'll see. You got it. Let's get it. Uh, by the way, I don't usually lift this heavy. Usually I do higher rep, or at least like one day a week I go pretty heavy. Not quite this heavy, maybe like four to six reps on average. And uh, I have that be my heavy day, and then later in the week I do more machines and higher rep stuff. Kind of like power building, makes power lifting and bodybuilding. Um, all right, I'm gonna do this. Good. Come on. Three or four, I don't know. I'll do a negative. Ah. I always forget to count. Is that three or four, do you know? No idea. Oh, thank you. Who's decent? Do you want me done with it? Fellas here, press? Or yeah. Do another set? Let's do some other stuff. All right. What do you want to do next? Let's do some chest stuff. Let's do some flat bench. Like flat dumbbell. Flat dumbbell? Yeah. Okay. Or incline right. dumbbell, it doesn't matter. I don't care either way. We'll do whatever you want. So, I've been like having a lot of progress gaining weight and my lifts are going up because mm -hmm. I'm adding waffles, but basically <laughs> I'm eating shit on the waffles <laughs> at the end of other meals uh -huh. just to add more calories for the most part. Um, but yeah, my kind of theory, I want to hear what your opinion is on this. Um, my theory about diet, generally speaking, is you have to get the healthy food in regardless. You can't just replace healthy food yeah, with I junk food, so but junk food's bad for you in general. But when it comes to like athletic performance and lifting, health, junk food is actually good. You just have to stack it on top of healthy food. So yeah. As long as you get the healthy food in there, you can put a bunch of junk food on top so long as you're not getting fat. So I was listening to this podcast uh, one day and like it talked about how like, you know, eating clean versus eating healthy is like kind of like running on like different surfaces. Like you can, you can run through sand, but it's going to be like hard. It's going to be a lot harder than like running on pavement or running on a treadmill. So yeah. That's sort of like how like the um, like the eating the different kinds of food is like you could you could get away with eating junk food and still like have a good physique or like um, you know have like good strength or whatever. But like it's not going to be the same effect as eating cleaner food or like you know. Uh, Do you like think that you get better performance? All right. So a format. Ask it this way: If you had one person only uh -huh. eating healthy, eating a lot of healthy food. And then one person eating a lot of healthy food and eating junk food on top of it, do you think the healthy person will get better performance from an athletic standpoint? Whether I mean, it's bodybuilding or sports. I think you need to I think you need to mix up both. I think so too, because you see yeah, Floyd I think Mayweather. You, I, I follow the 80-20 rule personally where like 80% of the time I'm like eating relatively clean and 20% of the time some, you know, Pizza Hut, yeah. some uh, Taco Bell, Burger King. My 20% is waffles. Yeah, shoulder. I mean, it's probably because you haven't done them in a while, so, yeah. Yeah, it felt weird on, shoulder, on this shoulder, but uh, I slept on a weird couple weeks we're ago. Only, we're only doing it for two, two more sets, okay. I think, so. I'll survive. Yeah. Might actually have to go, might have to go lighter. I'm going to try the 30s, that seems Damn, right for me. one thing I'm beating you at. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. 
All right, you think I can curl 75s? Yes. Curl? <laughs> yeah, I think so. You're supposed to say no. Now it's no fun if I curl. <laughs> Try that again, Joe. Do you think I can curl 75s? Probably not. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no idea. Never tell your lifting partner that you think he can do something. I don't think so. You, you definitely don't have it. Come All on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Look, at, look at those small arms. <sighs> yeah, okay. There we go. Take that, Joe. Yeah. Take this, too. He definitely, <sighs> definitely taught me. Eat it, Joe. I right. should actually do my set. <laughs> yeah, one day. <laughs> Someday, Joe. You gotta eat more waffles. I guess so. Back to what we were talking about before. <laughs> Alright. Waffles are the key to the game. Everybody knows that. do these so I kind of feel like I'm drunk doing them like wobbling everywhere yeah I don't feel <laughs> tight they are a very woman if you don't do them often enough All right, serious question. How often do you bring fake weights in here? All the time. <laughs> All the weights I lift are fake. Come on, you couldn't tell by the small muscles? Hey, people can't claim that because these say crunch on them. Did exactly. Those? Yeah, all the plates say crunch. Yeah. So, ha. They're just, all, all these plates are from 10. So don't even try, you They're trolls. only five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the whole gym is like 10% under. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why he was able to kick all the 75s. Yeah, it's, it's true, it's true. All crunch fitnesses All right. do that. <laughs> Real question for you. What's um, up? What would you say the main reason people plateau is? It's like I a mean, lot of people get like fairly fit, gain like first 10 to 20 pounds of muscle, and then kind of just stagnant for years. I like, see that a lot. Well, I mean, if you do the same things expecting like, you know, different results. Yeah. You know, you, you're gonna get the same results. Yeah. Like if you're not gonna change like, most people plateau because like they do the same sets, the same weights, the same reps, every single workout. Same volume, right? Like, same volume too. Because like in the beginning, maybe you do four days a week, 45 minute workouts, and then you get to like, you go from a beginner level to a much more advanced level after two years. Yeah, year and they level. don't change their training style or yeah. like, you know, uh, how, how like the, they don't vary their sets or reps or like any of those ranges. So it's hard to like progress if you don't make any change to your program and see like yeah. what you need to improve. Like yeah. when I, I struggled a lot with bench and like one thing that helped me improve my bench was like incorporate more tricep work, more shoulder work and just like, you know, benching more times. Yeah. Like sometimes just like doing something more often will like, you know, help you improve on it. So yeah. So we're going to be doing the overhead press machine along with uh, I've never done side, this. Raise, uh, side raises basically uh, and it's going to be a super set. A lateral dumbbell lateral raises. raises. Yeah. Side raises, lateral <laughs> raises, you know. I'm kidding, I just make up names usually. This camera's got a really good focus. Like, not focus, like zoom. Like the autofocus? Oh, I meant the zoom. Said it wrong. You're too strong, Joe, you're too strong. Oh, two plates. All right, we're gonna check out white your teeth are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to the next <laughs> My set. <laughs> Never mind, he's still going. He's doing a super set. We'll check his teeth again when he's not looking. I just record you in the mirror. Nah, that doesn't look great. You're in 30s. Think you're strong, bro? In 30 after that? All right, my turn. All right. It's my first time working out, so I'm judging. I'm sure it's it is, David. Day one in my fitness journey. It's so far in front. Okay. That seems like enough. If you got it, you gotta do 12 reps. You do 12? Yeah. You do 
is 35. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, 12 is a lot. I was taking breaks at the bottom. I don't know I was doing 12, that's a lot. Yeah. All right. You always starting without me recording. All right. Wow, it's warming up, that's why. Is that right? It's a solid warm up. <laughs> Boom. All right, next question for you. All right. Um, so we've hit mid and front delt, but this is a push day. Yes. So let's say we're doing a pull day tomorrow. That uses a lot of rear delt. So do you skip rear delt on your push day like this? That uh, way you're feeling fresh the next day for your pull day. Usually, yeah, I usually do some face bulls or like some of those, uh, what are those called? Rare delt flies. Yeah. Um, to hit my rare delt, so. Yeah, you should save it for my pull day. Okay. Word? Yeah. All right, I guess I'll do my set. So, like I was saying before, half the reason you lift is for your muscles, half the reason you lift is for your ego. So since I'm working out with him, I'm gonna do uh, just one more plate. <laughs> of course. To exercise the ego. What if, what if we run out of plates, <laughs> what are we gonna do then? Uh, I stack stuff on top. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I Even come if sit it's on like top? a tiny amount of weight, like anything. You you need a little bit more. You put a phone on there, it still counts. Got it. Again, this is one of the most important parts of the workout. We're basically done, but we're trying to get re-pumped because we talk too much, because we still need a thumbnail image, and uh, we gotta be pumped for that. <laughs> All right, your turn. All right. Joe's out here looking flat. Yep, I gotta, I gotta pump it. You look so flat, if you were titties, you'd be A-cups. I probably would be. <laughs> you know, gotta get those D-cups back. All right, everyone in the comments rate Joe's deltoids. <laughs> Alright, Jim. <laughs> there goes all the games. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect timing because you just flexed. <laughs> the flex and then the trip. It's yeah. a classic. Alright. Alright. Look at you, Joe. Look at your muscles popping out. Hold on, stand there again like that? Sorry. No hands on your hips? What are we doing? Alright, now do a pirouette. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said do a pirouette. Gotta spin. Gotta spin, okay. Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, based on the angle he's at, he's doing a lot of core and rear delts. So I'm ready to conclude that Joe does not know how to work out. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> but his teeth are really white. I'm still a learner. Look at yeah. his teeth though. Hold on, there we are, right. there we go. Let's get it. All right, moving on. Yep, some sort of goofy uh, chest press. Thing. I've not done this one before. Okay. All right. My turn. All right, guys, so we just finished up the push day. It came in this room because uh, audio is better. But anyway, hope you guys liked that. We um, went pretty heavy today, and we'll probably start making more videos like this in the future since he lifts kind of like I do, and uh, he knows a lot about lifting. So he's starting a channel. We're actually using his camera. His camera's pretty sick. So you start getting better video quality if we start making videos together. And uh, anyway, yeah, hope you guys liked it. 
Um, I'll leave links to his channel that he's just starting and both of our Instagrams probably down here in the description. And last thing I'm gonna say before I go, if you guys want free customizable programs and they are free, just give your email and they're customizable in that you can pick weight loss, muscle growth, or speed and agility if you're an athlete, and then they're based on your experience level. So those are really good programs and programs that I designed. You can get that at gentechnutrition.com. I'll also leave the link in the description. And one more thing, if you guys want the best supplement that you can get, if you're a guy, then check out Test Max HD, sold by Gentech Nutrition. So same website, or you can check it out on Amazon. All that's gonna be in the description. And if you like the video, like I said, hit the like button, comment, all that stuff helps us out a lot. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.